Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Guys, I'm gonna get right into this like zip because it is a rather, there's a lot of information in it. I want to get it into one video, so I'm going to be talking a little more rapidly than usual. Welcome aboard. I'm Sam DeGangi. This is The Correct Views. Um, Daily Mail. If I can, damn, I don't recommend reading the article yourself because pop-ups are, worst site ever is Daily Mail. U.S. citizens are told to stop coming to Cabal Airport due to the terror threat, leaving up to 1.5 thousand people, including 23 California students, stranded. Blinken blames them for not leaving earlier. As the CIA start helicopter rescue missions, why is it Democrats all over, I, all of them, and I mean Hillary Clinton, both the whole, literally the whole lot of them. How is it, I can't fix that light, but I'm fine. How is it that they can pull off the most hideous things when they're in control? And nobody really seems to make the kind of a big deal out of it that they need to. I don't care if it's Benghazi or if it's something else. It just seems to never end with these people. First of all, they were told to leave, to get out. Then they were told to lock down. Now they're kind of told to do both. Listen, to, this is terrible. American citizens trying to get into Cabal Airport and to leave the country were told on Wednesday night to immediately leave the area due to a new and sudden terror threat. Due to threats outside the Cabal Airport, U.S. citizens should avoid traveling to the airport and avoid airport gates unless you receive instructions to do so, said the State Department on Wednesday night. Now... You know what the other problem with this is? The other huge problem with this is the fact that we're being told, and we, which is true currently, that the Taliban and ISIS are enemies. It's amazing how Shiite and Sunni can make up, though, the moment it becomes, you know, we're after gringo. It's immediately, you know, then all bets are off. But the Taliban is claiming in some other reports that I've seen that it is ISIS causing this and not them. Well, that would be interesting since it's clearly the Taliban who we've seen breaking into people's houses and beating people in the street. So they've already proved that they're, they were, they're liars. They want to ban music now and women can't be walking without a chaperone. All the things that come with the freedom of uh, Islam in most countries where Islam is the dominant religion. And that may not be politically correct to say, but that is the case. Now, not always, but, and I've said this before, Islam has a very a big problem with the very worst rising to the top and making life horrible for those who really just want to have a somewhat decent life, free from all of this dogma. I think it's one of the funny things about Christianity, too. People don't understand that when Christians say that they're free, people say they're not free, they're not allowed to do anything. No, that's not true. You can think of everything that you're allowed to do on a cruise ship. You can eat. You can have sex in your room, you can swim in the pool, you can play the video games, you can drink, you can gamble, you can do whatever you want, and then you decide to jump off the boat because the boat's too restrictive. Look at all that ocean. Look at all that ocean. I want to go there. I want to go there. You're in the ocean, you're stranded, and you're going to die. Um, there is no freedom of, of what I just defined. There's no freedom in Islam. Those at the Abbey Gate, East Gate, or North Gate now should leave immediately. The order to leave the gates was issued at 3.30 a.m. local time in Kambal on Thursday morning. Fears are mounting with the Islamic State affiliate in the region, which is called ISIS-K, could try and launch an attack on the crowd masses outside the airport. Uh, groveling Joe Biden here on Tuesday warned that ISIS-K were believed to be attempting to target departing jets as he explained why it is unlikely that U.S. forces will remain in the area beyond August 31st. Now, what a great day. All right, look. 
do we not have fighter planes? When we see these bastards on the street, do Leave it in my comment line if you're hearing this. Could you, anybody give me a link to where the U.S. no longer has missiles? Because I guarantee if some of these convoys which are on the way to block roads were to find out that some of our planes do still work and that bumbling Joe Biden actually was able to put the nozzle in the gas tank on one or two of them, I guarantee you'd find a lot less roadblocks blocking American citizens and our allies leaving. Remember, the, remember, it used to be that if you harmed an American citizen, your life was as good as over. Where did those days go? I'm dead serious. Where in the hell did they go? Up to 1,500 Americans are still trapped in Afghanistan. And the U.S. is still relying on the Taliban to allow safe passage to the Kabul airport. Why? How in the world? And I've, I've opined this yesterday. I, it, it's been said that our troops might be being yanked out of Afghanistan so that they can be sent to some other hellhole or deal with China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, God only knows. Um, even if that's the case, why would you... Throw yourself at the kindness of the Taliban for. What kind of rotten leadership does that? I saw a stupid report on Drudge. Drudge the Drudge Report had went from an amazing website to a piece of garbage. They had the stupidest article on there. It said, will drugs be enough to feed Afghanistan? Because America locked their bank account as did most of the free world. Well, there wasn't a single mention in that article of the fact that they're sitting on what, a billion or more dollars in lithium, which is needed for the batteries and cell phones and all of the green technology. The, the green, the green. Well, the green is in the Afghan, so enjoy. Blinken gave his first briefing on the aircraft operation in the bid to get all citizens out and Afghan allies out as well, amid reports that the CIA has joined U.S. troops in helicopter rescue missions outside the airport perimeter. And the sickening part is, as I mentioned earlier, he blames those who didn't leave for not leaving sooner. Which on paper makes perfect sense, except for the fact that you have to realize they were promised that they were going to be escorted out of there in the event that things ever got this bad. And guess who lied to them? Oh, Groveling Joe, that's who. The same person who's behind this entire brilliant maneuver. So that's where we are. What can you do to help? Well, I'll be getting to that in other videos. There are charities which are working to get uh, Christians and others out of there. So watch the other postings today. Thank you for listening, friends. Good night. God bless. This is The Correct Views. Get a hold of me in the comment lines. Uh, I'll, I try to see them all. I don't always know when they go off. Uh, the Correct Views at Hotmail.com is one way to get a hold of me. Hopefully you won't go to junk mail. I never deliberately do that to anyone. So let me know. Good night, friends. God bless.